For you, what does Europe mean to play in? You played in the group stages with Rovers in 2011. You played in the group stages with Dundalk a couple of years ago and you're now hoping to lead Shamrock Rovers into the second qualifying round. But what does Europe mean to you as a footballer? Yeah, it's, you know, it's, I suppose it's one of the highlights of the season straight off the bat. But, um, I mean, listen, tactically, Europe is a different, it's a different animal. You know, you know, teams, you know, on the continent are, you know, they're traditionally good football in size. They keep the ball well. So, I mean, for us, we've got to keep the ball. We can't, you know, give up, uh, give up possession easy. We will end up chasing the game, chasing the ball for, you know, large periods of the game. We've got to, you know, put our own stamp on the game. We got to respect them. We know they're going to be a top side, but you know we've got to impose ourselves on the game. We're at home, first game. We've got to really take the game to them, and you know make sure that um, you know we don't concede anything sloppy, which we haven't done lately. We've kept, like you said, a lot of clean sheets as of late, um, and then we've got to you know bring the game forward. We have got to go over there with a positive result. No matter what way you look at it, it's a tough game, and, and we're up against it. But uh, I believe if we if we do our homework and set up right, we, we give them problems. Spoke to Ronan Finn at halftime of this match, and he was just saying that you know yourself and Stephen put a huge amount of homework in to help the players. How, what kind of information can you get on them, and how does that help in these games? Because in the League of Ireland, you're very familiar with the teams you play against, whereas in Europe, clearly the players might not be familiar, and, and it's your job as the coach to, to help them do that. As much information as possible. That's all you can do is give the players everything, uh, formations, uh, style of player, um, and then it's up to the player. He can take in as much or as little as he as he pleases. You know, you can't force players to take information. Some pe- players don't like information, and some players love all the information. So you just put it out there for them, and then it, it's up to them uh, what way do you want to take it. But uh, we try and do as as uh, much as we can on the opposition. In terms of your own European experience, not every player in the Shamrock Rovers squad has a huge amount of experience in Europe. You do, and, and as the captain, does that add any extra importance to your role? Maybe not even in the games, because clearly it's just a match when you're playing, but maybe in the build-up to stuff if some of the younger boys are, are going to be playing and they've never played in Europe before, for example. Yeah, listen, it's exciting times for all the young lads. I remember my you know, first appearances in Europe. It's something you always remember. Um, so listen, there is a lot of senior players in the squad like myself. So I mean, I have been fortunate enough to play in you know a lot of European games, and uh, it's something that you know I don't take for granted. You know, it's every year. You know, you want to be pushing for Europe, and even this year we got to make sure that the club qualifies. And um, but now that we're here, we got to you know embrace it. You know, we don't be just happy to be in the you know like the, the first round. You got to you know, like I said, you you treat AAK with all the respect. But I mean, we've got to you know be looking to get through them, get past them, get into the next round. It's a massive game for the club and you know, anything that we can do and the manager will be brilliant with us this week, Steve McPhail, Glenn. So, I mean, we'll have a, a wealth of experience from the coaching staff as well as myself and, uh, you know, we, we'll be ready. As a football manager, you're clearly focused on winning the football matches for the purpose of the competition, but European money is huge in the League of Ireland and I know Graham Burke recently went, his poster sit on the wall outside and you got a big transfer fee for him, but the European money is important. Just tell me about that balance that you have to strike between trying to win the matches for the competition's sake and if you do do that, it gives more money which helps the club overall, which helps your budget, which helps everything really. It's big, I think everyone knows um, European football is big for every club in Ireland and we're no different. So um, if you get through around, it's obviously financially helps you massively for, for your budget for the year and uh, hopefully hopefully we can do that again this year last two I know you want to create new history here at Rovers the Europa League here in 2011 Dundalk were in it a couple of years ago you're clearly only in the first qualifying round but everybody's aim has to be to try and make it again and at the start of both those campaigns nobody would have given any Irish club a chance of making anywhere in Europe and I know you guys will have a belief if you can play to your level you've got to be aiming for that do you? Oh look we've got a really tough game on Thursday and the following Thursday AOK are a, a top team we're a, we're a really, really healthy budget, you know, and uh, there's some really they have international players. It's going to be a tough game. You know, we've got to concentrate on Thursday and, and see what happens. How big is the step up in the actual matches in comparison to the League of Ireland and playing here week in, week out in comparison to these European games? As you said, you've not seen too much of AOK yet, but they're a top team in Sweden, so you would think they're, they're going to be a step above what, we've, or what you know, our teams generally here play against. Yeah, tactically, you know, it's a different game. You know, like I said, possession is, is key for a lot of stages. Or if it's not, and if you've got to give up possession, and you know, you've got to defend really well. You know, sometimes if we are letting have the ball, you know, you can't press silly and, and you know, in ones and twos, it's, you know, you could be, um, you know, really sit in and get your, you know, your two banks in midfield and defence. 
and you can sometimes you just have to be patient but like the game of being like I said in talent towards they you know we're at home you know the, the onus is on us to you know get a result but we can't be silly at the same time we've got to be clever we've got to respect that they're a good side and if they are you know a spell in the game where they have to dominate possession we may just have to sit in and you know maybe pick our chances on the break but I mean like I said we've got we've, we're a home team we're, we need to impose our own our own stamp of the game and I'm sure you know we'll work hard with the manager all week and train and tactically we'll be, we'll be ready because tactically in Europe is key and just lastly I know what in 2011 nobody would have given any League of Ireland team a chance to make the group stages when Dundalk did it a couple of years ago probably the same thing Everybody is starting, including the other clubs, Cork in the Champions League, Derry and Dundalk in the Europa League as well, with a dream of, of, of going further. You'll say we've got to focus on the next match, but for an Irish team, hopefully for you, that being Shamrock Rovers, to make it towards the group stages again would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Especially with what's going on at Rovers at the minute. The new stand might be even ready by then. It's, it's nearly ready now, and it'll be a great place even to make a run through a couple of rounds here. Yeah, listen, part of the European football is the financial aspect of it, the financial reward you get uh, for the club. So... <clears throat> That alone, you know, the club is in a great place at the, at the minute and, we're, you know, we're making massive strides off the pitch and financially getting through rounds in Europe will only add to that. For us as players, it's key, you know, the wealth of experience you get from playing in these, you know, big games. Stance you throughout your whole career, it's something that you look back on when you do retire, you know, it's something you can be proud of. But, listen, it's not going to be easy. They're a good side, you know, they'll want to get through the next rounds. You know, they've got, you know, a wealth of experience as well at their disposal. Um, but listen, it's you know, be the games like I think would be in a balance, it'll be a tight game and we just gotta make sure that we go across the Sweden next next Thursday that we're we're still in the game. Just finally speaking of memories, this stadium has held great memories for both Rovers and Dundalk in Europe in the last couple of years. On Thursday, five past seven, hopefully there's a great crowd here. I'm looking forward to being here myself. Just tell me what European nights here are like for Shamrock Rovers people, whether they be fans, coaches, players, because hopefully we can get a great crowd here to, to cheer Rovers on in, in a, a big European game. Fantastic, they're fantastic nights to have, you know, it's it's a different atmosphere because of the fact you're playing obviously someone from a different country and uh, I think people buy into that, fans who maybe wouldn't come every week buy into that, so you always get a big crowd and, and it's always a different type of game, it's always a different style of game, so uh, no, look, they're always good nights and, and hopefully we can come out with the win.